Yo and hello everybody, this is Brian True here and with my beautiful, lovely counterpart, Katie Hazard. Hello, hello everybody. And we're here to play something new for once. I think it's going to be a great new adventure. It's not FNAF related or Emily Wants to Play related, so we're not running from any weird little dolls that I know of. Not that I hope we're going to do. I really, really want to avoid crazy homicidal dolls. That would be nice for once. Just for a little while. Just for a little while. We'll come back to it. So, we're playing The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. I am really excited about this game. I have heard amazing reviews about it. I love a good mystery game. I love trying to put together the clues of what happened. I love the detective story. I was a big fan of the old detective novels back in the day. So, um... I just aged myself quite a bit, but... Um, hey, it's perfectly fine. The best part about it is, though, I have to say thank you, Steam, for always having things on sale right now. So thank quite you. Quite right. We do appreciate your Steam sales. <laughs> we, 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 we love you. We do. We love you. You make it for poor people to play games like us. So exactly. So we're thank gonna go so ahead much. and start a brand new game. Uh, I have never played this game before. We're playing it We're blind. doing it with you here now for the first time. So I want to experience it with you guys. If you guys have played the game or have um, any tips or tricks, we'd love to hear them in the comments. Uh, definitely you're going to need some help. I, I hear it's a pretty pretty puzzle-heavy, pretty, he yeah. pretty puzzle-heavy. So if you guys have tips and tricks and, um, I don't know, just any little comment on how to make this game easier, do let us know, please. Um, we know this is going to be a multi-part. <laughs> right, exactly. So. so if you guys uh, know of anything, please do let us know. So we are going to give this a shot. Let's butter this The muffin. game is a narrative experience that does not hold your hand. Oh. I like it when it holds my hand. Where's the easy setting? I want to hold your hand. When the police won't help you and the priests don't believe you. When the police won't help you and the priests don't, don't believe you. You call on me. Oh, if you're me. a kid like Ethan, you're right. Plenty do. Ethan's letter started out just like any other fan mail. But soon there were mentions of things no little boy should know about. Uh -oh. There are places that exist that very few people can see. Uh -oh. Ethan could have drawn a map. Oh boy. I hadn't entered Red Creek Valley yet, but already I could feel its darkness reaching out for me. Uh -oh. Finding Ethan Carter wasn't going to be as easy as knocking on his door. I was too late for that. To find Ethan, I had to figure out what this place was trying to hide from me. Okay. Well, this is an excellent start, guys. That's a... Look at this beautiful surroundings. I mean, just amazing. My first reaction is get the hell off the train tracks. Yeah. <laughs> But at the same time, I don't want to get lost yet. Although I'm sure there's going to be plenty I'm of getting sure lost. I'm sure we're going to get lost a lot in this game. I think I can. 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 Oh fuck! I can't. Oh fuck! I can't. Oh fuck! I can't. And if you just heard that, Peanut is here. She's just doing some artwork for us on the side. And she's been playing video games all day, so she needs a little bit of a break. <laughs> Not to worry, though. We've got this. But I will say this is a very pretty-looking game. We're playing this is the really re beautiful. Of it. Yeah, this is the redo, guys. Just so you know. What, 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 what did they call it? Redux. Redo. Let's see. Let's go off the beaten track. <laughs> <laughs> Ha -ha! I'm gonna die. Oh, we're gonna die a lot. <laughs> you have to have all the right puzzle pieces. You have to find out every all. I guess right. I guess you're a psychic detective. Detective, excuse me. So you find pieces of evidence that will help you put the story together. But look, just look out there. I know, look at that. Look at that, guys. It is not every day you see a game that looks that pretty. I mean, like, you could, like, literally, like, try to walk into your TV if you didn't know better, like... If, if, if this was on the Oculus Rift, we probably would. Like, this is beautiful. Just the detail on the rocks, the freaking train tracks, the bridge here. Oh, bridge closed. Do not enter. 
And you know what that means, right? We're gonna enter it like a bumbling buffoon. Red Creek Valley seemed like a quiet, ordinary place. I've learned two things in my life. No place is truly quiet, and nowhere is really ordinary. Ethan warned me about that. Warned me not to be fooled by what I saw here. Oh boy. Didn't need to worry. I'd worked dozens of cases, hundreds. This would be my last one. Uh-oh. Already I knew that. Oh boy. This is off to not a good start. This is an ominous type story. Already. It really is. I feel like this is just death wrapped in an enigmatic story, wrapped in darkness and doom. Uh -oh. It's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. Oh boy. I don't know if we need to worry about that or not. I don't know either, but I'm frightened of it, so... Oh, yeah. I'm not a big heights person, so I think the sooner we're off this bridge, the better we are. I agree entirely. I'm not sure if I'm gonna die if I walk in the wrong place or not. So I'm just going to try and stay on the boards as much as possible. <laughs> like we said, we did not watch anybody else play this game. I've never seen a Let's Play footage. I've never We've cheated. Seen trailers. That's about it. That is our extent of knowledge. So. Going into this. That and some pretty good friends telling us, you have got to play this game. So. Exactly. Oh, I think Ooh, we got a psychic thing. Enter. Okay. How do we enter? It did, yeah. What? There we go. Are you supposed to try to go forward? I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to be doing. I... It says turn off. Press and hold it. Exit. Well, I don't think I feel like there's something that yet. I'm supposed to do. Like, I am telling you, like, this game d definitely was right when it says that it does not hold your hand. Right. But I figure that... I don't think this is getting power. It says turn off. Well, it was technically turned on you would see other things going. Maybe you need to figure out how to turn it on. That way you can turn it off. I think it is on. But I don't know. Nothing's going. I realize that. Which means it doesn't have power. In theory, yes. Maybe that's our way out. You never know. I hear, like, I heard just a rumor that it turns into, like, a very Lovecraftian. Which means Cthulhu. Experience, so, um, I'm thinking that, you know, I, I definitely think it's gonna get dark and, and, uh, pretty, I mean, like, it started off dark, but I think it's gonna get really uncomfortably dark and I think it's going to be an absolute masterpiece while it does it. Here's hoping. We don't so, get enough masterpiece video games. We get a lot of fun games. But nothing that's like poignant. You know what I mean? Just like, just and absolutely I'm stunning. I'm a very firm believer that video games are an art form. They are, absolutely. 100%. There we are. Inspect. Cut ties. Untied. Cut ties. Tied. No, no blood. blood. 
rope. Can we take said rope? Am I supposed to, like, I don't know. It's not lighting up. Maybe that's just what it is. It's just rope. Keep going. Let's see what else happens. So we have the first thing here, rope. Yep. Well, I think the first thing was enter, but... <laughs> Oh, inspect blood. 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 Rest, Rest of, of the, the corpse. corpse. Blood trail. Blood trail. Victim, Victim dragged, dragged away, away. Crawled, crawled away. away. Severed, Severed legs. legs. Ooh. Yep. Yeah, you can see him there on the track. There are definitely severed legs right there. Mm-hmm. Let's uh, follow the trail. Follow the blood, Carolyn. I think that's an excellent plan, Mr. B. Hey, look, there the he corpse. is. Blood from legs, blood from, blood, blood from, from, fractured, fractured skull. skull. Cause, Cause of death, death blood loss, loss, head trauma, touch. Blood. This is our psychic bit. Not, Not yet. yet. Death scene, disturbed by third party, eroded by time. There you go. Yep, go for it. <clears throat> I'm trying. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Uh, okay, hold it. And try looking around. I can't. It won't let me. I can't really do anything. I think I just gotta hold it. Maybe touch the bloody stumps instead. Maybe get closer? I think I, yeah, let's try this. I'm telling you to try the legs. I'm trying to get there, but you can't control where it's at. There it goes, here's a little closer. So now I'm a little too close. Mm, no, it's not even close. <laughs> what do you what am I supposed to be aiming for, I guess, is my question. Are we just supposed to hold it? Maybe. Because it just said hold, so. But they wouldn't have you hold it for a prolonged period of time without any real reason for it. Unless I'm just not... That would just be silly. Touch. Hold A. Maybe if I get his head? head area now. Okay. To be fair, I think we already missed stuff. You think? I really do. Because the way they're setting things up, we would we should have seen things at the beginning. But we didn't. Right. There wasn't but anything we, like we no took, words popped up, like nothing. But we took the complete path. I think you're supposed to kind of in the beginning. I don't think this is the type of game where you're supposed to follow the path. Let's go back towards where we started from. Hey, look, you can run. Cool. So let's go back. We don't want to miss anything. 
I didn't think we had. Well, we're being much more careless going across the bridge this time. <laughs> Seems like it's not affecting anything, so... So, might as well go for it, right? Exactly. Mm. Okay, so... so go back to where we start came from. We came from the tunnel. Yep. Should we maybe walk the tunnel? No. <laughs> you don't know. Okay, so turn around. What happens in the tunnel? I assume you go towards the light. I don't think we're even getting closer. That is definitely not what I think we're supposed to be doing. I'm just checking. watching that video of those British kids getting murdered. Am I comfortable back on <laughs> No blame. Okay, so we somehow arrived here. Now, look around. Now. Go that way. What's this? Just a different colored rock. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay, let's... Let's look around here. Let's start our investigation over. Exactly. Because a game like this is never going to set you on the right path. Mm-mm. I think we found something. Oh right dear. There. Okay, so it was a normal thing. Now it's not a normal thing. Trap. It's a trap. It's a trap. Is the boy in there? Is no. <laughs> That'd be easy. Game over! I win! Oh, wow. Yeah. That's not good at all, is it? Was covered entirely, I guess, by grass. A di another trap. It's another trap. The first one, interestingly enough, for people who are history buffs, was an Apache foot trap. the The key was to kind of cover it over with moss and leaves. You wouldn't look. Your foot would get trapped between uh, whittled pieces of wood that act like enclosing fingers. And so you, it's like almost like a Chinese finger trap where you can put it in, but you can't get it out. Mm. And so those Apache foothold traps uh, were actually really very, very interesting and useful for those of you who care about things like that. Which we do. I super do. I'm super interested in, in life Let's in general. Let's check out the other side of the tracks. Okay. So anyone walking in these woods who, I guess, w wasn't a psychic detective, would have... Oh, no, Kitty, I meant, like, before we go to the 
uh, tracks, like, go to the right. Right, that's, okay. that's where I was headed. Okay. I knew that there was a reason why they didn't take us on the path. I knew it. Anytime you walk off the path in games like this, you get rewarded for it with something cool. Very true. Whether it's a piece of a story or just more of a I don't know what the fuck you mean type situation. Yeah. You still get something. For sure. Some good I rocks. I have a feeling some things won't show up until after you find something else. Yeah. So. Let's go to, like, what we did when we found the first trap. It was right by the entrance. Like, you know, from when we went in there. It wasn't. Oh, oh shit man. balls. That was something. Sure was. Sure was, Brian. Hmm. Man, where were he wanting to kill? Someone is hunting in these woods for people. Damn, yo. Who is this freaking psycho? Seriously. This is why I don't go into the woods. This is I, that and Deliverance. I watched Deliverance way too young. <laughs> yeah. If you notice, guys, each time we're getting more of the puzzle piece. So each time we're finding a trap, what we're able to see when we're sensing is getting bigger. That circle of knowledge is getting bigger. It's the circle of life. Let's see back over here, maybe. Excuse me. Okay, so let's look and see what we find. I'm seeing our more traps. That's something. Let's see if we get a complete picture this time. Oh, we got one. Yep. Boom. Oh, sweet. I don't know. I guess we need to read. Well, these are the, probably the notes from Ethan. Uh, why? There sap. We go. An old man came to the forest every day to drink sap from the trees. To get there, the old man had to step around many dangerous traps. The villagers believed this old man had hidden a jade amulet in the forest. But the old man wanted the villagers to believe this, because then they would search the forest for treasure and not drink his sap. Huh. One cool fall night, someone set fire to the forest, and the fire spread to the village. 
The old man escaped the fire by covering himself in sap. When he returned to the village, he found all the villagers' bones. The old man sat down and cried, and then he found more sap to drink. Great. I told you, you can't be here. But, Grant, I wrote something for you. That's real nice. Thank you. Just, just leave it. I'll read it later. Good parenting, Grandpa. Right. Mm. Okay. All right, so we have the the complete picture now. Ooh, look, another one. Yeah. One dead in house fire. Go back to the note. What? Oh, we got... What? Go back to the note. The other note? Yeah. They have the option for us to rotate. There might be something else. Mm, I don't think so. Yeah. It's just a... It's just a village on fire. Still. Let's see. Zoom? What is Zoom? Yeah, it's the village on fire. Wow. You see, that's cool. And it looks... I can't get over saying it, but look how stunning this game actually looks. It does. So, let's see. Bayfield County Fire damaged a historical home in Red Creek Valley Wednesday morning, according to officials from the Bayfield County Fire Department. A family of six was asleep when the blaze broke out at the remote house. Once owned by Albert Vandergriff by the Ogden Lake in Red Creek Valley, Gail Carter, 58, was pronounced dead at the scene. Remaining family members were able to escape. Carter's husband, Edwin, 62, told investigators that he may have fallen asleep with a lit cigarette in his hand. Mm. Firefighters were dispatched to the scene and remained... Let's see if oh, I can, see if can text. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> uh, we're dispatched to the scene at, two, at four, 422 a.m. and remained at the scene until around 5 a.m. Wednesday. They returned to the property for... They returned to the property four hours later to extinguish hot spots, which had rekindled. Ooh. Now rotate the note. Oh, um, wait, no after mind. heated public hearing, no answer for Vandergriff's heirs by Tom Otten. Bayfield County, members of the Vandergriff family again gathered in the Bayfield County Courthouse today to debate the fate of the, Gra the Vandergriff fortune which has remained in escrow since 1961. Ugh! When the family patriarch, Albert Vandergriff, died... I'm uh, sorry, uh, uh, Vandergriff... 34? 94? I don't know, I can't read it. Can't read that. 74, I think. 74. Died in a mine accident, the after effects of which nearly destroyed Vandergriff Industrial and severely damaged the local economy. James Vandergriff, 38, of Chicago, argued that his father's demands were unreasonable and that Vandergriff family members have personal reasons for wanting to avoid living in Red Creek Valley on the Vandergriff estate, as stipulated in the elder Vandergriff's will. The recent fire in which the Vandergriff home was damaged, he said, only, sorry, I can't read, underlined his family's, con his family's concerns. Okay. Well, I think we should put that note back. Yeah. But and I cool. will say, I definitely think that we are at our limit here for the night. I think you are correct, but we have definitely accomplished stuff? quite a bit. Um, maybe we can save ourselves options. Or well, maybe it does auto-save. I would assume it's auto-saved. Yeah. Maybe we should get to the town? I don't know. I don't know, because I think there's a lot more to explore in these woods before we I think you're probably people. right, Mr. B. But hopefully we we'll be, be able to pick up where we left off. Ooh. Oh, no, it's the no, same, same thing. thing. Sorry, I was just from a different angle, so yeah. I thought I got excited. I don't blame you. 
Uh, but we will leave off here for right now, guys. Uh, definitely check back into our channel, our website, our f social media. We are definitely going to keep playing all of these games, I especially mean, this game. I mean, look at this. It's absolutely stunning. Look, if you look at the ground right there, there's cigarette butts. I saw a yeah, cigarette pack. You can't do anything with it, but you can see it. You can see it because it matches what they're talking about. It does. So, uh, but yeah, it's absolutely stunning, and, and you can see that there's some beer bottles and cigarettes. So the kid was here drawing his father a picture, or his grandfather a picture, writing him a story while the grandpa was getting wasted and smoking in his kid's face. Pretty much. At least that's what we think right now. Good parenting. But. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. We were definitely going to be back with The Vanishing of Ethan Carter as well as all of our ongoing series. Please check us out on social media. We are on Twitter. We are on Facebook. We are on Instagram and our website, gwgstudios.com. Thank you guys again so very much for listening and watching, clearly. And uh, be sure when you go to gwgstudios.com to check out the blogosphere. We always have articles. amazing talent in there writing and uh, just really, I mean, giving it their our, all. So we we'd Kenny, love to comment. We our friend Shadow Wolf. We're going to be doing a couple collaborations with a good friend of ours named Raven Extreme. So, so it's all gonna, uh, it's all coming together. In so be definitely, sure to keep watching. definitely keep tuning in, everybody. Please like and subscribe. We really appreciate each and every one of you. If you guys, you know, have any tips or tricks, I would love to hear them for this game. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and we'll see you in the next video.